Hey, what's up turtles? It's Crick here with Black Owl Outdoors. And today I want to do a video demonstrating and showing how to use the timber hitch. And basically what a timber hitch is, it creates a loop, something to go around a fixed object or a mobile object, just using friction to be able to uh, go around and secure an object and or, like I said, a mobile uh, object. So I'm going to show you how to do it once in my hand, show it in a practical application, do it a few times, explain it. And right now I'm just going to get into it and show you how to do it. So to start, I have a piece of cord. This is a pair of cord. I'm choosing to use this high vis, high visibility um, color, just because it translates really well to video. But potentially in the application you want to use this for, for actually, you know, dragging logs and or anything else, you know, the cord um, can change and appropriate, but I'm using this just to uh, make it really easy to show. So to start by doing this, there's a few ways to do it, but a really easy way is to take one end of the cord, sort of make a loop right here, pinch it, and put my finger in and basically just twist it like as if I was actually making rope to a degree. And keep twisting it, I'm gonna, while I'm pinching the ends in my left hand here, create this loop. I'm gonna hold this and maintain this. It's okay if it's going to roll up on itself right now. I'm not worried about that. Take this other part of the cord, pass it through. And once I have that, you can see maintained that I have this twist maintained. I'm holding it right now. Once I get it around an object that's really not important, I'm sort of doing this in my hand, so it's making it a little bit more tricky. But basically after that, once I get that, and what I've done basically is just created a almost a restricting self-tightening loop around my fingers right now just through friction alone no tying at all just through friction using the principles of physics all that and what I've done now is just create this loop now you can use this to actually start a lashing it's potentially you'd use a jam knot for that you can use a timber hitch like that as well it's really quick like I said it's really doesn't require any tying. You can do it in cold weather when dexterity, your fingers really don't feel like messing around too much. It's really quick and easy, really easy to untie because it's not even tied. It's just held by friction. So when pressure is released, it just basically comes apart. Now I'm going to actually show it to you on the ground in a practical application. I have some logs down here or some, some staffs, if you will. <clears throat> And say whatever I'm collecting firewood or I want to move something out of the way blah 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 I don't want to carry this um, this is great for doing something like this if I wanted to drag this to camp instead of picking it off the ground you know making it uh, you know potentially if it's really heavy this isn't but this is just to show demonstrated purposes so I'm gonna lay this down move it over it there's a few ways you can do this you can go around right here and then twist, twist it around multiple times because it is friction based. So you want to make sure you got enough wraps to actually increase or not increase, but to secure and make sure there's enough friction that's going to hold. That was probably four, one, two, three, probably four wraps around it. And once I have that and I'll just pull it tight, let it set itself. And that's all there is to it. Now at this point, I could just use this and I could just drag this. And that's all there is to it. And to undo it, take off the tension, unwrap. Simple, simple. One of the easiest, easiest sort of hitches, if you will. Really practical application, really easy to do. I'll do it one more time down here. Put this over it here. Like I said, how I showed my hands, I can wrap, I can do the loop first if I wanted to, then pass this through. Or I can actually put it around it. And then just wrap. So as you see, here's the loop. Let me slow it down. I'm creating the loop with my right hand going around this once. I'm going to hold that. And then just wrap once. You can see, wrap it once. Let's continue that. I 
hold that. Let it bite on itself. Oh, that's the paracord for you. Because it is friction based, like I said, like I mentioned earlier, I'm using paracord so it translates and it's easy to see. But it is friction based, so potentially, you know, I'd want to use something that has more friction in it, different piece of rope, cord, if you will. You can see as I apply pressure here, this all bites on itself, bites on itself. And this is the most important part to keep this in place down here. As I move, this tag gets pinched between the objects. And that's what holds it all in place, along with these wraps. Once I have that, That's basically all there is to the timber hitch. So if you have experience using this or different applications besides what I've shown, dragging some logs, multiple logs, and or using it as um, sort of like a jam knot to start a lashing, a quick lashing, let me know. Please share with me. Remember to check out blackoutdoors.com. Check us out on Facebook. Check out Black Guy on Instagram. This is Crick signing out with Black Outdoors. Later, turtles.